as you all know, my go-to hair straightening system is usually Ite, but I'm out of Ite, and I still want my hair to be straight. So I'm gonna be using Chi today. I've been using L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free Shampoo and Conditioner lately, and it works wonders on my hair. This is gonna be my first wash. And my second wash, as you can see, it's leathering up pretty good. Getting on down in there. <laughs> and this is what it looks like when I have the conditioner in. See those curls popping? No heat damage. Yay! <laughs> I always use a t-shirt to make sure that I'm not tearing my ends out or my hair out in any way. I always make sure that I finger detangle when I'm dealing with parting my hair. I don't wanna be ripping through my hair with a comb. Sometimes I use my Denman brush, but it just depends on what I'm doing. But most of the time, but most of the time, fingers are what I use. That's my go-to tool. I section my hair into nine sections. Now I'm going to apply the Chi Straight Guard. You don't really need a lot. And this is what I'm going to apply to each section first. Making sure I apply it from root to tip. And then I'm gonna do the stretch method and blow dry it on medium. The stretch method is when you just hold your hair in the stretch form and just blow dry. When I let go, you'll see that it, it will stay in that same state. And I'm just gonna take my Denman brush and slowly brush through it. This is what it looks like when I'm done all sections. put the 44 iron guard I'm gonna just spray that on one section preparing it to get ready to be flat ironed smoothing it again from root to tip and then I'm going to apply the cheese silk infusion you don't really need a lot of that either again from root to tip Brushing it through with my Denman brush. 
making sure that it's gotten everything. And again, I'm gonna be using the Lisa Ray Red Pro Flat Iron. I'll link it below. And comes the fun part. I'll be using the chase method, like I always do. As you can see, it's coming out pretty good. Nice and straight, with a little bend in it. I'll also be linking below the video that I followed on how to apply the Chi Infra collection to my hair. As you can see, my hubby came in for just a moment to feel the difference in the Chi and the Ite. To me, it actually feels much softer and silkier. While you're here checking out this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell as well to make sure that you'll be able to get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you like this video, comment below if you have any questions or comments. As you can see, I'm only doing one pass. I have a good bit of protection as far as the product that I've put on my hair, but I still like to just do one pass. Don't wanna go crazy. So this is when I've finished. And if you've been following my channel, you know once I finish flat ironing, I always wrap my hair so that it will fall the way I like it to fall and also be protected as I sleep. I'm gonna take just a little bit more of this silk infusion and put it around my hair just to make sure that my ends are covered in it so that it'll be no frizz going on. And I'm gonna also brush it in. Cause the worst thing that can go on when you let your hair down is to have frizzy ends. And you went through all that to straighten your hair.
Now my go-to edge control gel is called the Naked Laid Edge Control. I'll link that below. And you don't need a lot of that. I'm just gonna put a little of it around the edges and brush that in as well. And I always use this every time I straighten my hair. Because the last thing I want is frizzy edges. You know we gotta have them edges laid, girl. <laughs> yes, hunty. <laughs> Just about done. The last step to making sure that it comes out right is to put on our satin cap. Just want to make sure you don't put it on too tight and that it's overlap right because if it's not overlap right, you have those lines in your hair, which I hate. Those lines will really mess up your wrap. Make sure it's nice and loose. I always try to make sure I can get at least two fingers underneath where I tied it at. That lets me know that I have it loose enough to where I won't have any lines as well. And then I just put my bonnet on just for good measure. Just in case that slips off, I have extra protection on my head. And this is the next day. Apply my makeup. And I'm just gonna comb it down real quick. This part of the video I've sped up. And I am using a wide tooth comb. Even though my hair is straight, I still don't want to be ripping through my hair. And here I'm just showing the length of my hair. And as I said many times, don't let the shrinkage fool you. I've got another video coming up, so don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so that you'll be able to see what happened once I use the chi, because I usually don't use the chi. Peace and blessings, y'all.